Welcome back to Anything Goes Garage. Rainy Saturday. It was nice this morning, but got a few things going. We got the Formal M cylinder head off today. Uh, unfortunately, it looks like that block may be junk. The pistons are completely rusted in it. Might be able to get them out, but they're not going to be. The sleeves are going to be not uh, savable. <clears throat> so we'd have to resleeve the motor. We don't know if the pistons are going to be any good. It does have high compression pistons in it, and unfortunately, it was a uh, distillate. Uh, burning tractor back in the day in 48 and uh, that's no longer operational. I just been run on gas But um, I talked to the owner and I says well, we can probably find another long block or another short block We could probably save the head Depends see what he wants to do. I think with the price of all the parts and the labor to resleeve it by pistons There's millions of those M's around so we can do it that way. Uh, yeah, let me show you this cylinder head All right yeah, we got a little bit of uh, Vice Grip Garage on, Derek on, while we're working in here today. So this is the cylinder head for the M. She's been hot. Cylinder head was blown. You can see it should be night, day, night, day, night, day, night, day. Well, it ain't night. It's all nighttime here, nighttime there. So uh, you can see where the water came through the valves. A couple of these valves are sunk. Nothing looks burnt, but this one isn't totally closing. So with all the rust in there not good so oh another thing today the old 66 i got a buyer for it he wants me to fix the transmission that's in it which i'm gonna do he's gonna uh take it back to sunny florida with him so it's gonna have a happy life down in the uh retirement village somewhere uh well you know it is what it is um i guess we'll move on to the next project well which is that that's going to replace it might be a little while but we'll get it so next in order to get the trans out i have to fix this transmission jack because the seals in here are junk and it empties itself on the ground so i have to get this apart and see what seals i need because it just runs out and the transmission drifts down so let me get working on this mm -hmm. Yeah, this has been a much, much needed job now. The O-rings are so bad that it won't even keep the transmission in the air long enough without having to top it off with fluid. So, yeah. Lack of maintenance. Maybe easier to just pull this pedal off to get to those screws. Work smarter, not harder. So they say. Let me see how much fluid comes out of this. Thing. If I can hold on to anything. Well, the wheel on my hands. Oh yeah, this has got a spring behind it. Said no one ever. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Come on. Fine threaded metric junk. Come on. All right. Uh oh, I guess you heard that, right? <laughs> this thing still got a lot of fluid there. I thought it was gone. It sounded like my stomach after I ate Taco Bell. Oh boy. Yeah, definitely a Taco Bell moment there. Woo wee. Yeah, boy. Okay. So I need to get this arm off. So that means uh, my blind butt didn't bring my glasses. So I don't know if that's a. Yeah, I gotta get some those circlip pliers, whatever you call them. Okay. There is thy piston. Yup. Uh, let me see here. Oh boy. It looks like that is a Teflon seal, not an O-ring. Hmm. Well that is not good. That means I might have to see the manufacturer about that. I think I found the problem with this thing. I don't think it's so much a seal. It was this is loose? This should be tight. You see the fluid running around that. This thing was never tightened from the get-go. So I'm gonna take this thing out. And oh boy, there's a lot of fluid behind that. Let me uh, readjust this. All right, so we're gonna lose some fluid. All right, so there may be a seal. If I could find this, I don't think this was just tight. So I'm gonna clean all this off. And get all the dirt off of this because all the speedy drive thrown around here over the years 
get this clean and tighten this up. Maybe I can get this transmission out today. All right, so I clean this thing off. And I, and I put a wrench on this thing and tighten it up. And we're gonna cross our fingers and hopefully that thing don't leak no more. Because that's pretty much where it was coming from. But without taking it apart and figuring out what seals are going in it. But I found it. Let's see what happens. Let me get a wrench. Yeah, maybe that'll stop it. We'll see. Let me get this rest of this together. Oop, forgot the spring. This looks like it might be interesting. Press that down and you know, there's gotta be a method to this madness. This is gonna be interesting. Put this in, line it up. Yeah, well maybe. But I gotta hold that down and put that pin back in. Wherever that pin went. What do I do with that? Here it is. All right, maybe we can do this. I need like 18 arms. All right, come on. Somewhere in a factory in China or Japan or Taiwan. Yeah, maybe not. I don't know. Ouch. Okay, this is not working. Hmm. Let's see. Reorganize. Let's try this again. I don't think this is going to work. I need a, another arm. An assistant. I need an assistant. Maybe I'll try it from this side. All right, I got it close. Come on. Ugh. Wow. No, it's not working. Mm. Oh boy, this is. There we go. It started. Woo wee. That is one heck of a spring. All right, so let me drive the rest of this in. Hmm, let's see here. It's gotta go down a little bit, and it doesn't want to cooperate. It's crocked. It doesn't want to do, it doesn't want to do going the whole stuff. Wow. Hmm. Oh, too far. Perfect. Got it. All right. See if I can get this back in. This has got, I don't know why it's got too much play, but I guess it doesn't matter. Let's see here. Hmm. There it goes. There it goes. And let's see here. This is the fun part because this has got a spring against it too. Everything's got springs against it. Springy, springy, sprungy, sprung. Oh, wow. Dang it. Come on. I'm gonna have to get a uh, clamp. Yeah. Yeah. For those of you who are probably yelling at me on the <clears throat> on the computer, yes, I did have the valve upside down. <clears throat> Almost put it together upside down. That would have been great. Yep. Okay. There you go. That's back together. Now we just gotta fill it with oil and hopefully, cross our fingers, it doesn't leak. Hopefully. We'll find out. Okay, time to refill the cylinder with some uh, Dextron Mercron um, transmission fluid slash hydraulic fluid until it's full. So it looks pretty good so far. Hopefully there's no leaks and I hopefully I fixed it, but we'll find out when we start using it. I don't know. All right, let's see what happens. Hey, look, nothing. Somebody's like building pressure. I'm not liking that. What's going on here? There it goes. It's air bound. And it's still low on fluid. I put two quarts in it, but the thing was severely, severely empty. I got a rag under it on the floor. So, we'll see how far it goes up before it gets air bound again, because I think it's going to need another quart, maybe half. I don't know. See what happens. And we're in business again. Cross our fingers for now. All right, so we're gonna start pulling the transmission out of the 66. Uh, get this down to the trans guy maybe sometime this week, if not next Saturday. Um, guess we'll start pulling out the drive shaft and working our way forward. 
get the fluid drained and little things disconnected and the motor supported with a stand. Right, Maggie? Let's get this done, huh? Look at this. Ham. Hammy. Maggie Mayhem. Little Miss Hammy. <laughs> Come on, Mag. We got work to do. Let's go. Come on. Really? You're talking uh, crap again, dog? I know that one's going to stink. Whew. I think you were eating a Taco Bell, too. All right, we're going to get this kind of shit out of here. I'm going to get our straps off of here. She's a little tight. There we go. Without dropping the cap, of course. Or poking my eye out with a... Hmm. Oh, these are tight. Oh, boy. Why? <laughs> now, always keep your... Uh, I get keep either a plastic one, which you can't find, or an old yoke from another transmission. Transmission butt plug and put it up in the trans after you pull the trans unless you want to get ATF raining down on you like crazy. Alright, so an attempt to take this drive shaft out. Be careful. It's gonna make a mess, so I got a pan ready. Yep, and there she goes. Support this on the cross member. And the rear, and we got just a little bit of flow, but we're gonna stick this in here because when we pull the trans, we do not need this running down your arm, your back, your head, or the floor. All right, speller is disconnected. I'm gonna disconnect this vacuum switch here. I'm gonna undo the uh, undo the core lines, um, the lockup converter, and the linkage. Yeah, the linkage. We'll get that done, and um, we'll head for the bell housing bolt, uh, the torque converter bolts. We'll get a jack underneath this thing, and we'll go from there. All right. Now the clip for the lockup converter. There we go. And I got a ground wire, which is on the pan, and that's half inch. And the speedometer cable just dripped on my face. Oh wow, okay. Now for the transmission lines. Put my pan under it because I know we're going to play the drip drip game. Uh huh. We'll keep from making messes so Maggie Mayhem doesn't lay or walk through it. Right, Maggie? <laughs> She's over there watching, waiting for the nearest mess that she can get into. Uh huh. And here we go. Three, two, Ooh, it ain't dripping out. Ah, a little bit. Okay, so those two are disconnected. I have a kick down cable on the top. So before I go doing anything else, I need to lower this down and undo that kick down cable. Almost forgot that. Very close. All right, so next to keep this drip, drip, drip off my head, I always save my old rubber caps from all my lines and anything I get out of uh, water pumps, whatever you get. And what I'll do is slip them over the transmission line. Look, no more drips. So out of my collection of caps here, I have all different types. I don't think I have a matching set, but I'm sure I can make something work. Oops, I just hit that one. Now the other one's dripping. And you'll still get a little residual drip out of the trans. They do, I do have a plug for those somewhere in here. Oh, there's the one I'm looking for. All right, and a little on the small side. Nope, I dropped that one. Let me try that again. Ugh. Let me see if I can make this because it won't fit over the flare. Nope, that one's too small. Well, this ain't good. I have to go to the other side of my... Oh, no, that one work? Yeah. Nope. Alright, I'm gonna have to go to my other bin. Alright, so now we well actually I don't think the air filter off. I need to remove this kick down, which it looks like I've got to get a couple of wrenches and a pair of pliers to push that clip together to get it out of the bracket.
It seemed like yesterday. I just put this thing together. <laughs> All right. I know this thing's going to get hung up on something. That's the way it goes when I pull that transmission out, and I'll be getting a ladder because that's how things happen around here. This is a very tight fit behind this distributor with this giant clip, so I'm not sure how good this is going to go. It's, uh, yeah, there's spark plug wires, there's coil wires, and there's oil pressure light wires, and a little pressure light gauge wire hoses, and I think I'm okay. I think we're clear. I'll give it a little tug when I go down there and get a light. Time for converter bolts. Let's get these three converter bolts out of here. Hmm. I shouldn't be. Ugh. Yeah. I'm supposed to be taking it easy. Which I kind of am. It's This is relaxing to me. But I got bursitis on the shoulders from doing this stuff all these years. And, uh, yeah. I should be in relaxing. But I've been relaxing. This is relaxing. If you don't find working on hot rods and getting rained on by ATF fluid, relaxing, you shouldn't be doing it. That's all I got to say. Just saying. Convertible. Two. Convertible three. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Okay. Convertible three. I don't want to turn that too much because then it'll spit the plugs out at me. Uh, let's see here. We got the kick down pulled out of the way. That is good. Um, next, we'll do the um, mm, the motor mount thingy, transmission mount thingy that holds the transmission to the frame and two bolts, plus four bolts that holds the cross member in because that's got to go back. So let me uh, get some tools. Looks like five eighths, nine sixteenths. All right. So I'm removing the bolts going to the cross member for the transmission. I'll loosen them up so I can get them out by hand. Just leave them in there. Yeah, lock washers on them. Okay. Both sides are done. They're loosened up. I'm going to get a jack up underneath this thing to uh, secure this. Get a jack up underneath the oil pan so when we pull this apart, the motor don't go floop. And we will be safe and good. So now we're going to attack these bell housing bolts. I just want to crack them loose. I had to put my headlight on because I can't see up in there. The old eyesight, what it ain't used to be. Broke free. I don't know if I'm going to, I might have to dip this thing down a little bit. There we go. There's two. Usually takes a extension and a wobble socket. On a 9 16th to get them. There we go, there's that one. And watch your knuckles. The top ones are the pain the butt ones to get to. That's where sometimes you gotta drop the cross member and let the back of the transmission sit down. You know? Yeah, you might be able to get in there. I, know, I can't see anything. Oh, there it is. That's probably gonna be a pretty tight one. Look at that. They do give you enough room down here to play. Usually, the race car, no. You gotta definitely dip the trans down. Oh, sweet. Oh, there we go. All right. I'll grab an airline, get this jack underneath here, and we'll be good. All right, let's try out these, uh, this transmission jack and see if it starts leaking. So far it ain't leaking. Usually it would be sitting here, it'd be leaking on the floor. But we've been good. Wash your fingers. It's got a little bit different oil in it too this time, so it's probably a little air bound yet. 
I notice sometimes if you don't go too fast, it pumps up a little faster. Mm. Yeah. Watching the grass grow. Alright, so it's going up. I'm going to take a little weight off this cross member and go after all these bell housing bolts with my Drop it down just a little, get that top bell housing bolt out. Hello? There we go. Now we can pull the bolts out of our cross member. If they want to come out, I'm going to have to lean that one out a little bit. Still got pressure on it, just a tick. Get all our bolts out. Last bolt. Hey, Mag Mag, what you doing? Took a nap. You over there sleeping by the wood stove? A little more. Whoa! That thing's a little aggressive now. Probably because it has fluid in it. <laughs> All right, out comes L transmission bracket. Now, this thing's definitely got some pressure on it. All right, a little crocket here. That thing decided to take off. There we go. All right, now we got a dipstick tube. Hopefully that stays with the trans, or that is going to be a mess. All right, make sure I oh, bolts. Make sure this. Oh, look at that! Caught on the dang oil line. Good thing I looked at that. Come on, you wise guy, you. Come on, you. And then poke me in the eye. Mm hmm. Show my safety glasses on. Oh. All right. Oh, wow. Okay, transmission lines out of the way. Just got to guide out that dipstick tube. Make sure that don't get caught on nothing, which I think we're good. Still nice and slow. This thing was supposedly rebuilt, but I guess not. Well, that was success right there. I'm going to drain the oil out of this thing. Most I can get out so the transmission guy, transmission guy don't have to deal with oil all over him. I don't have to deal with it my truck. I'm starting to see a little seepage down there around that spring. So, usually it's pouring out by now, but give it some time. Pull out my bolts and make sure I get all my hardware back where I don't leave the transmission guy with hardware that he could lose. All right, um, I'm gonna get this thing off of here, which I will need help for. You know, I'll get the converter out of it, drain that, and um, next unsuspecting soul who comes over can help me lift this thing off, because I'm not that young kid anymore, so. Okay, so I was told also if a lockup converter does not work, doing a lockup, there's a little oil seal on the end of this thing. They go flat and they leak by. Actually, I think there's two. No, one. And that'll keep the lockup converter. It'll blow by it. And also, there's a solenoid inside there. That goes bad also. So, who knows the way this transmission was rebuilt. They could have never changed it. Because people have been known to rebuild stuff and forget to change stuff. So, yeah. I'll get this cleaned up a little bit and uh, get it ready for a transport. Got to get the fluid out of it so I don't contaminate my truck. 
Hmm. Okay. What? Okay, trans is out and it's ready to go to the trans shop of my choice. That'll probably be this week. Um, probably not going to do much more today. I, I think I'm going to pull either the pan or pull the motor. I don't know. I, I don't. It depends on how hard that pan, pan is to get out. Uh, I got to get my shoulder rest. I am going to take a break. What is the oh, it's a cap? Um, I'm going to take a break today and I can't drink no cold snacks because I'm on some meds for my shoulders, unfortunately. So. I guess I got to be a good boy. I'm going to watch some, uh, I guess some YouTube videos. Just hang out in the shop. It's nice and warm here. It's like 65. And veg for the rest of the night. And make a list of things to be done. Uh, otherwise, no. Um, I think we're good here. The burner's draining. It's tagged and ready to go. Wiped down. I just got to drain the fluid out of it. Then we're good. All right, so that'll about do it for this uh, project, uh, taking the trans out, draining it out, and get it to the transmission shop. Uh, yeah, I guess um, maybe this week I'll take this motor out. I don't know. Uh, we got plenty to do around here. Right now I'm trying to straighten up the shop a little bit. Uh, just dealing with weather. Eventually we can get outside when the weather's nice. So, All right, well, thanks for uh, watching. Like and subscribe. Uh, yeah, helps out the channel a lot. Appreciate it. See you next time.